Tomorrow Pictures. The story is in the telling. Head range, it's, it's not age range. You know, it's an attitude. Yeah, it's an attitude. and um, it's definitely a 16 to 35 thing anyway. I want to know, with you involved, oh, your boy. business with Alley Cat? I hope and think it's somewhere around, should be four or five million this year. Mr. Trainer, president and owner of Teal Trainer Incorporated. Without question. The dress has been always our most popular item, has been for the last 10 years and continues to be that way. They've developed the synthetic so well that with the new synthetic yarns that they've done, why they do not crease, they travel well, they're light, and women are very concerned about these things. The sweater looks very important. Now, the sweater look we do more of in the boutique operation. Fall is going to be definitely a return to more simple, more elegant, less contrived clothes, uh, no gimmicks, no tricks. I think women are tired of that. Casca, when I gave you the question here, you were talking about wider shoulders. There's no question that wider shoulders look more right. I think we're in a very transitory period of fashion in the sense that there are many things that are going on. It's a, something in the atmosphere which also gives a proportion to the dress. I love Kate. I Casper, think, uh, designer for Joan Leslie. And we are discussing the fall collection of 1971. It's important. It has to be voluminous. Not skinny. I think what we're really talking about in the sense of lapels, shoulders, and so forth, is there has to be a richness to the clothes. There has to be something about it in the proportion and the eye appeal. I'm talking to Mr. Abe Schrader, chairman of Abe Print Incorporated, and his son, Mort Schrader, who is president of Schrader Incorporated. You always have a special woman in mind when you think about an Abe Schrader woman. What would you describe her as? A very smart lady with money to spend on better clothes. Sort of a cross-section of American life, a medium to high salaried family lady. Yes, in the, in the Abe Schrader division, for sure. At Schrader, we stood for, 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 for the same kind of clothes we had planned always uh, when, when lengths went way up. We may have, in this whole cycle change, moved an inch or two. Either way, we've never had that uh, jump going way short, way long. We stand for something, and the end result was that the stores in this difficult period, did well with Schrader. Mr. Bill Blass. Well, I'm trying at the moment, Tina, to keep Blass bought separate from my Blass Limited regular collection, and yet the influence does penetrate through both. Certainly wider shoulders, lapels, more prominent, double-breasted look, but always very narrow and slim through the body. Capes, trench coats. I love the look of the classic. I love the look of sweaters. I like the shirt waist still. Now again, I'm being influenced largely and primarily by my customer and what I think she wants. I think that there is a definite need to, to really and truly cater to her, her way of life and how, what she, how she wants to look. She certainly still wants to look pretty, Gina. There's absolutely no resistance to price as long as the customer feels she's getting great value, great workmanship and quality. And I think that'll continue in America always. I'm talking to Nat and Irving Bader, who own Originella, Junella, Genori, and other companies. In the 70 years that we've been in business, we have dedicated ourselves to making the finest product that we know how, using the finest fabrics and the finest styling, and using the best workmanship that is available in this country. But we have never made any gimmicky clothes. We don't believe in fair. And I think that the women who haven't bought coats in the last season are ready to buy a winter coat now, regardless of price. The woman that can't afford an original will buy a copy of an original. I'm talking to Mr. Jeffrey Bean. Do you believe in the cardigan, the blazer? Uh, no, the blazer. Well, it's buy? taking classic looks and giving them uh, oriental twist, either in some sort of ornament or decoration. What colors are you going to use this for? Well, there's a color of the French called Prunelle, which I'm using quite a bit of. And there's a teal blue, uh, there's red, which I always love. Is there something that you'd like to say about your next collection? All in all, I'm anticipating a sort of a fun collection. What's sold most for Halston International? 
I think probably the sweaters. It was a very difficult thing to find a very good, well-fitted sweater in a nice color, and we sold that throughout the country very well. Miss Anne Klein of Anne Klein and Company, one of the originators and certainly one of the most successful designers of the separate look in 1971. We were not selling bits and pieces. We were selling a look, and we were selling to a customer who really wanted that look. And this is what we have found. In insisting that stores buy it the correct way or not buy it at all, you said before that I created separates. I really didn't create separates because that started many, many years ago. I cannot say claim to that. We made classics fashionable. And I think that's probably the most important contribution that we have made at Anne Klein. We've made it a classic viewpoint to a classically oriented woman, a woman who does not want her clothes to wear her, but in fact wants her clothes to work for her. And, you know, it's been fun. I've loved it. Mr. Gunther Oppenheim, president of Modilia Incorporated, talking as a manufacturer. That the lengths has a lot to do with the proportions. Now, the important thing is that build each item, whether it's a costume or a coat or whatever length it is, that each customer should stand in front of the mirror and decide, oh, gee, this is fabulous, the proportions on this outfit are right for me, that's what I should buy it because it suits me best. Nicole Horn, for business partners. I think uh, the whole new before really is more in the proportion of the shoulders. I think sweaters, in a way, are, most, are more important to me. I don't feel that strongly at the moment about shirts. I will have them, but it really would be more sweaters. I agree. I think this is the year of the sweater. Fashion today is always so confusing that uh, it's too fickle for women to really invest a lot of money. People should, for a change, take advantage of the opportunity that fashion now affords us to wear whatever we want. Mr. Shannon Rogers, partner and designer for Jerry Silvern and part owner of Journey. I think at 71 is ahead, not behind. And I do like the wide look, because it's certainly most flattering to most women. I think that the dress is going to come in this season very strongly. We know that already, and I mean, the last two months, business has proven it. Our great success actually stemmed from you. You promoted the polka dot story. We picked it up and went on with it, and I think it's still running. Mr. Starr, president of Malcolm Starr Incorporated. I think fashion is going in several directions at the same time. I think that sophisticated women are going to... I'd rather be blue over you than be you than be happy with somebody else. I can't do without you. What? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh,